Vacations where I want to be Party on the beach where the fun is free We don't need a holiday, it's time to celebrate Cause I need a break, I need a vacation We got kicked out of our home and accused of being evil Oh I'm pretty depressed about it I'm just on vacation <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Arceus I met uh, <laughs> the other lady based on Cynthia <clears throat> Oh Smoke yeah. Smoke show old lady. Not as tall as advertised. She she's clearly meant to be an old lady, but she's like not wrinkly at all. Right? She, she just looks like Cynthia. Yeah. This looks like Cynthia but white hair. That's how you determine that someone's old is if they have white hair. Yeah. It's not that they're anime and just have white hair. No, they're old. And uh, we decided with the Diamond Clan, I guess. Oh yeah. Well, it's not like we sided against anybody. No, we didn't. It's just it's we just chose like, the Diamond Clan. Chose Adamant to <clears throat> help us out with the uh, the fellas. Yeah, the lakes. The lake fellas. The lake and what goes on in them. This just means there are a lot more resources around here than there should, probably should be. No, it's just this area. Okay. Uh, so I changed up who's on the <coughs> team just a little bit. Uh-huh. Garchomp, good choice. Glade, okay. Luxray's back. Napoleon's still there. There's a fucking Heracross. Because I like Heracross. And Cleavor. Cleavor is sticking around. He's a good guy. Uh, also, they're all alphas. Except for Cleavor. Except for Cleavor. <laughs> we could have had an Alpha how's, Cleavor. How's it feel to be a beta male, Cleavor? We could have had an Alpha Cleavor, but you said no. Did I? Yeah. I was like, well, I got the thing to make a Cleavor. We can either use it on this Alpha Scyther that I have, or on uh, the Scyther that we've been using for a while. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. Yeah. They're, like, I, I was like, wanna go? I was literally looking at your fucking party team <clears throat> and just being like, like, in my mind, I was shaking my head disappointed because the is not in there. I always have this fucking thing. That the starter should always <clears throat> be in the party? Yeah. I also I, have that I always idea. do that. But here's the thing. Decidui kind of sucks. He kind of sucks. Like, compared to the alphas that we've been having with us? Well, compared to, like, the the other starters. Yeah. Like, Infernape and Empoleon. Like, they've been rocking it. Yeah, right? It kind of helps that you got them at a very high level, whereas Decidui was still, like, in the 40s, I think. I mean, right now, I think Decidui is, like... 59 or something. And even then, that's that's not enough. Look at everyone else. Yeah, everyone else Except is Except for that Heracross. Which begs the question, why is the Heracross in your party? Because I like Heracross. Okay, never mind. I want to get him levels. <laughs> Go get a fucking Blissey then. Alright. Here we are. Oh yeah, fucking Volo is helping us. First of the lake. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. And it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was... Like, verily. Protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. But that's how the old tales go. Oh. Hello? Mushy mushy. Oh. Mushy mush. Push your mosh. Pokemon this. <laughs> that cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Your first time seeing it? Good night. Let's do this, Bevorchi. Mistress Kogeta seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Can we catch them? Or do I have to, to beat them up? I have to prove myself to them. 
Just walk up to this legendary Pokemon, get in the ball. Right. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, it's the bad Gudra. I already caught one of those. Did you? Menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, Bevorchi. Prove to the Pokemon I like how strong you are. Okay. So this Pokemon has just been keeping this one here trapped for all eternity. Time to, uh, murder. Steel, Steel and dragon. dragon. Ooh. Hmm. Alright. Do you have a dragon move? Well, it's not very effective against Steel. But Earth Power, though. Time to fuck it up. Good timing. I was bored and have nothing to do. What's up, that's a guy? shell? Yeah, that's a shell. Here. Yeah, right? I thought that was just like, like a this big isn't, bushy tail. This isn't even like a good alternate form for Gudra. It's just they took all the chunkiness and put it in her tail. That, that, this just does not look great. Alright, Gudra's dead. Not a very appealing design. Oh. Yeah. Alright, we did it. That's the way, Bavorchi. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls. Hey, my balls aren't little. Hey! They're heavy. They're gigaton. <laughs> you truly understand one another. Now let's see <clears throat> about the Pokemon of the lake. Feel a mysterious presence. <coughs> hey, how you doing? Can I have you? Can I keep you? Cool. Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. Go ahead. Yeah, take my emotions. So, so it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. It's also just a very common thing with a lot of psychic Pokemon. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? I was very afraid. Panic. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with his his clans? Hmm. It's a wide world. What well, big? What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? Life is complicated. Yeah, sure. Go I guess. I guess that's the conclusion you could get, and not- I WAS BETRAYED! Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more! Ooh. Oh, that's a postcard. Esprit's Plume. Hmm. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Alright. Goodbye. Can't wait to catch you. Baby. Can't even imagine what that must feel like having Pokemon talk to you without words. Oh, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now, we've two lakes left to visit. Okay, that was quick. Yeah, cool. See, I told you these lakes would be pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fight one Pokemon and answer fucking quizzes. One of you has we, to have a game show quiz. We gotta hurry up and get to, uh, uh, get back to the Galaxy team, because I've got so much research to turn in. <laughs> See, it's because 
Merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Fucking evil. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I've even got some questions about its true nature. Oh. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogito's home? Yeah, let's go back. Am I able to turn in my research points there? No. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Probably be like, oh, you got one of three. Cool. Do the other why, two. Why are you here? Right? You, you have three to get. You've gotten <laughs> one. Hey, babe. Ah, Mesprit's plume. Like, she's clearly supposed to be an old lady, but like, yeah. she doesn't look like an old lady at all. No, not at all. Legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. Yes. This all makes no sense to me. Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing, and it'll let us find the world and solve all this mess, but how? Why? Magic. No doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. Oh, it's gonna open eyes inside of our head? Oh no. I get it even less now. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves, nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right! Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. Nonchalant, you sound. How confident of successes to contribute nothing. Yeah, bitch! You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Damn, dude. You got fucking served. Volo got called out. Right? Oh shit, it's that white hair woman. Yeah, it is that white hair woman. Yeah. She's okay. Oh shit, it's that frog Curtis. Oh shit, here he come. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to this bitch. Lake That's Cutie. gonna be a bit of a hike because we can't fly straight up. Braviary can't go up. That's as high as he'll go. He goes a little up. A little up, but not enough up. That's the sad thing. Yeah. Do this though. Yeah, you gotta get yourself higher and then go. What do you mean she's okay? I mean she's okay. It looks like Cynthia, but she's trying to they're trying to make her look like she's old, but not really doing that. Yeah, she she doesn't look like an old lady. No. Also you said you told us that she was really tall. Yeah. She's not taller than fucking Volo. She's barely tall. Nice. Fuck you. Way to go. You say he, not she. I said she. What? There we go. All right, now we can make it, I think. <laughs> no. No, not at all. Well, you can fly into the wall and then switch over to fly me do. Sneasler. <laughs> yeah, and it's a dumb name. The worst name. I'm going to keep calling her climb me do. All right. You can't fucking stop me. Hey, it's Crazy Danny. Hey, how you doing? I got time for some YouTube. So glad I'm here. Hi, everybody. Hope you're all doing fine. Special greetings for Goku, Adam, and Lackey. His name's not Goku, it's Artist Guy. I don't know why he changed it to Goku and Artelis Guy. That'd be fancy. Still just Artist Guy to me. He'll always be Artist Guy to me. Yeah, also, we hate Goku. <laughs> <laughs> this is an anti Goku house. Like, legitimately, fuck Goku. He's the type of man that doesn't give a shit about his 
new child being born. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck about his family. Uh, he doesn't kiss his wife. Right. That was one. The of only the... reason he had sex is because he thought it was food. Yeah, that was <laughs> one of the great things about uh, Super to come out. Yeah. Was like, he sees like Trunks and Mai kissing, and he's like, "What are you doing?" Right. <laughs> Our guy just. Oh God! Please don't call me Goku. Like, but it's obviously Goku. Listen. We knew him as Artist Guy. Listen, Goku sucks. He does suck. Vegeta all the way. He's becoming the god of destruction. And I read up I read up a little bit about the fucking ultra, ultra ego. ego. Yeah. I love the fact that the only way he's able to do ultra ego is in a fight where he doesn't have to protect anything. He just go all out. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Or you're just bullshitting to make it sound interesting. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. I uh, seem to recall that in the anime, uh, the three different lake guardians, each associated with uh, the three different main characters. Yeah. Ash, Dawn, and Brock. And it's weird for Brock to take, like, a central role in the plot. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? <laughs> Goku and the ruler of hell. Oh, okay, so you're edgy. <laughs> now let's see what's waiting for us. Medicine Yo! Is before you! Why are you just here? Cow wow! I know you don't need me to tell you this before, G, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing! Fuck you! <laughs> God damn it. That's just a fucking Zorark here, guys. Come on! Unless we beat it here and then it's in the world somewhere. I mean, I think I've seen... Goku kills it. All right. Praise Danny, you're just, you're just firing him up now. <laughs> He's getting real mad. <laughs> Bitter malice. I think I've seen uh, Zoroa. I may have caught one. Mm. Okay, well, it's immune to ghost. So that must mean Can you tell it's... what type it is? Normal, Normal ghost. ghost. That's a little weird. What a typing. Whatever, just so, go the old-fashioned way. That means it's, like... It's only weakness is dark? Yeah! Because it's immune to ghost, and it would be immune to fighting. Yeah. Interesting. Put a fucking wonder guard on that bitch. Yeah, right? Damn. All right, let's dragon. Let's fucking strong style dragon claw. Him. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, ready to go, hair cross. Yeah. All right, let's talk to Ooksy. Knew you could do it, Bavorchi. Was there any fucking doubt? You feel a mysterious presence. Oh, you're the Brock one. Yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> this is the one that was associated with Brock. Of course it was. I don't know why. Oh. Come, I will test your knowledge. Yo, we got a quiz, let's go. That's, that's probably why it was yeah. Brock. Because it was about knowledge and then, uh, the emotion one was Dawn because she's a girl and girls have emotions. Yeah. And then uh, the as elf was Ash because I believe as elf was like bravery or something. Right. Something stupid. Some kind of Gryffindor bullshit. Oh, okay. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclot. Oh, yeah, I caught a couple Magnezones. Oh, cool. Hey, why are you talking about this? Okay. How many are their eyes? Do they all have one? 
No. Plus Cloud has one, Magneton has one. Magneton has three. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Can you repeat that? Okay. Combi? Combi has three faces, six eyes. So six, six eyes. Six, zero, one, three. I want to say one. So six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. I'm ready to answer. Six, zero, one, three, one. Are we correct? Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world oh, once okay. more. I wanted more quizzes! That was it, dude! I, Come on! I love quizzes. That's such bullshit. I love quizzes and I love puzzles. So I'm gonna make a fucking game that's all puzzles. Like in uh, Zelda. Zelda Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Other puzzle game. What was the other puzzle game that we had a lot of fun with? Uh, Solving puzzles. It wasn't Bayonetta. No. Bayonetta barely had puzzles. Uh. Might have been Bayonetta. Was actually. it Valhalla? Uh, yeah, yeah, Assassin's Creed puzzles. Yeah, yeah, Assassin's Creed puzzles. I assume all went well, Bivorchi. Still, I must wonder why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Guess I can think of two reasons to keep the chain safe. Test it. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Yeah, why don't you tell us, Volo? Right, you fucking villain? We know. Who could say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Yeah, like what? <laughs> Is Sebi gone yet? Is it safe? <laughs> yeah, it's safe. We'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we turn to Mr. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, fuck, this guy is made of hexagons. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, evil. Uh, that was how Professor Oak says wonderful. In, uh, Pokemon Snap. You, t you show him a really good picture and he goes, wonderful. Ooh. That's Yuxi's claw. I sense a... Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just the dash more speed to things in Jubilee Villager. Do you say so? Asks the sexy old lady. Right. It seems she's so hot. It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. She's supposed to be based on Cynthia. One of the Cynthia's hot. Yeah. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me. Commander Kamado has raised the. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue. Oh. You need a rise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. You're not. Now, if if Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, the yeah, he's just fucking zooming he's past. He's deflecting. What would become of everyone? I wonder. It's so zip before she. There's no time to lose. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. Watch. That all you really do. Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded room. Well, well, you're up to no fucking good. Right. You were just outed as not being part of the guild, and then you just... You, you just... Just ignored side, it. Just sidestep that fucking question. Yeah. All right, before we do that, though, I want to show you... This place. Why? What did you do? Uh, it's not what I did. It's what I found. What did you find? So, here at the Molten Arena, we got a little cave here. Uh huh. Oh, you could just go in the cave. We go inside the cave. Lava Dome Sanctum. Oh, but what's this? It's empty. I'm assuming... A lot of mud. <laughs> yeah, lots of balls of mud. This is, uh, my replacement for the spoiled apricorns. Oh, is it? Yeah. They, they work the same way? Yep. 
Okay. Uh, here's my assumption. At some point, Heatran is gonna be here. And we beat Heatran, he gives us the steel plate. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Because we still have like, <clears throat> eight other elemental plates to get. Right, yeah. Get up there. And there's an Alpha 9. Ooh. I like nine tails. Well, she doesn't like you. That's too don't bad. Don't fire blast me. Yeah, good. Yeah, don't do that. That's a, that is low accuracy. You Here, dummy. I'm gonna wave crash into you, strong style. Right. I'm gonna put the boots to you, medium style. And she's dead. <laughs> Why are we in hell now? Because hell is always an area you can go into. Hell is what you make it. Hell is a place on earth. Or is that heaven? Yeah, it's probably both. It's probably both. Go into that cave? They already went in there. Yeah, but I'm showing it to you. Okay. Throw me on the nothing. Oh, hey, I didn't notice this. Oh, hey. Last time. Oh, I can't fucking zoom in. Go first person. All right, so. Uh, we've got. Uh, what's your name? Celestia? Yeah, Celestia. Manaphy. Manaphy. Heatram. Uh, I think that's Darkrai. Probably Darkrai. Giratina, looks like. Giratina. Um, Basque Legion. Electrode. Uh, another Darkrai. What? I fucking hate Electrode. Yeah, I it's hate- It's the obvious one, and I it's hate stupid. the fact that Electrode is even in this. And then, uh, Palkia, that looks like, uh, Sneasler. Um. Get a good look at it. Zoom in with the- with the switch control. Oh, that's, uh... Avalog? No, 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 no. That's, uh, the third, uh, trio. The third of the trio we're going to meet. The blue one. We met Uxie what? and then... Azelf? Yeah, that's that Azelf. No, it isn't. It has two tails. Look at it. It has two oh, tails. Oh, I see now. Blue. Yeah. Okay. And then Regigigas, and then... We're deer? We're deer. Basque Legion. Again. Yeah. I didn't notice this. Is this is some kind of code. Yeah, I didn't notice this shit the first time I came. Yeah. Out. What is this code? I don't know. But yeah, just... Oh, wait. This is, this is a different cave. Seaside Hollow, that's what I wanted. This isn't even a cave. This is just a fucking little thing. It's just a tunnel. A tunnel isn't a cave. Hello. You're an alpha. Yeah. You gonna catch it or no? Yeah, <laughs> loser. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Didn't work. Damn it. Oh. Nah, that's not the one. <laughs> Carry me in, Sneasler. It's scary. Yeah, again. Nothing, but there's someone here. Just a little, little open thing here. Yeah. So. There's gonna be a We're gonna encounter somebody in here. I don't know who. Oh, uh, Jesus. What? Just the yeah. fact that there's hidden little caves with shit in them. Yeah, and Colonel Fox, but totally not a boss arena. Totally not a boss arena. Oh, our guy's got to go to military. What? Apparently when you hit 20, you have to go to military in Thailand. Oh, that's like a thing in uh, Korea as well. Mm. Fighting type moves. Who's got fighting type moves? Maybe Gallade? Maybe. 
Oh, it's hair across nose, brick brick. Well, this dude's level 69. Nice. 69, dude! <laughs> Military for two years. Well, have fun with that. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, close combat. Strong style. Fuck him up! Die! Hell yeah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny sex number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all laugh at the sex number. Everybody loves the sex number. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that dumb fucking joke. Oh yeah, I caught a uh, shiny Stantler. Ooh, over there somewhere. Are you gonna make it a shiny word deer? Maybe. Uh, I also caught a couple of growliths up on the mountain up here. Ah. Well, that's some fucking ruins for some reason. Yeah. There's another cave. There is another cave. Is that why you're coming over here? That's why I'm coming over here. Okay, okay. We got another one. Yo. This is, this is gonna be a Reggie. I'm, I'm guessing it now. This is a Reggie. Like, I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. You gotta name it Adam Stantler. Get out. <laughs> don't don't you fucking bring puns into this house. Your, your, your puns are not approved by the council. So yeah, just in this area, we've got these three caves. With bosses in them. Lava Dome Sanctum, Seaside Hollow, and Turnback Cave. Right. So... Some kind of boss is gonna be in there. That seems obvious to me. Hello, sir. Hey, let's go back to the lady. Let's go back to her and do something. Oh, let's fast travel out of here. The final lake. Where there's apparently a pseudo wudo uh, uh, outbreak. Ooh. Maybe even more like Brock. I didn't even know pseudo wudo were in this area. Hmm. We only saw them at uh, Mount Coronet. It might have been one of those, hey, there's just one hanging around somewhere. Maybe there's uh, Like a low chance of just spawning in. Maybe. Maybe uh, we can find some bond slide here. Hmm. They are. Oh, huh? The world of the wood up. All I see is a bunch of trees. Why is that tree getting closer? Oh my God! We've been duped. Trees are all pseudo wudo. Where you going, bud? Where you going, bud? <laughs> no, the ball's not working too well here. Did you figure something out? What do you mean it's not working too well? I mean, you hit every single one of them and only caught three so far. There's four. Don't run away. I love how they're all ganging up over there, like, let's just stay over here, you can't reach us. <laughs> I was about to say, don't you have better range with the wing balls? Chase them. Chase them down! Come here! No! Damn it! There they are! Come here! Get over here, you fucking tree! Fuck you. Don't want to despawn. And they're dead. Yep, there they go. Well, I'm in all the heavy balls. What? I can't use heavy balls on them because they, they run away. Yeah. Heavy balls have short range. Now for his hunch crow. Should I try to catch him? Yes. 
get a nice fucking hat. Why would you not? All right, see you later. Okay, but never mind. Never mind. Joke, joke. It's jokes. Rock type, huh? Just got rock move. All right, time to murder. Oh! Friendly fire! And done. That's a fucking bird. You're goddamn right it is. Like fucking Honchkrow. Punching his stupid hollow bones. <laughs> okay, everybody just calm down. Everyone calm down. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. I said no! No! What's your fucking problem, dog? Dude! It was just a prank, bro! Come on, Murkrow, follow me. There he goes. Now that I've got you alone. It's time to gang up on you and beat you up. Time to get rid of you. Deal with the crow. You get the ninja suit yet? No. No. Tell me how to find the ninja suit. Like, literally. Here we go. Why are there suddenly... It's no longer day... It's daytime now. Fuck. God damn it. I wanted that fucking bird. I killed all those Murkrows so I could get at that Honchkrow. Now I gotta kill these Roselias to get at this Rosa raid. I blame you, Art Scott. You asked us about the fucking ninja suit again. Psychic. Do you have anyone with Psychic? Glade Psychic still? Uh, Glade is Psychic and Fighting. Okay. He has a move. Psycho Cut. Sweet. Cause he's got like arm blades like a Zora Link. Oh yeah, yeah. This fucking Dude, Rosary Zora Link is it. the best Link. Yeah, hands down. And if you disagree, you're wrong. Dude, this Rosary wants a fucking piece of me. That Rosary wants a fuck, dude. Go over there, get that. Yeah, be distracted by food, idiot. Yeah. Uh-oh. Didn't work. Realized that Pokemon Trainer almost wears the same shirt as the main protagonist from Demon Slayer. Oh yeah, it is pretty similar. I wouldn't know. I, I never watched Demon Slayer. I've seen, like, a few images, and yeah, that is kind of the shirt that he wears. I've seen people get uh, very upset that one of the characters... Uh, ages up and her kimono that is for a child is uh, too small and thus when she is aged up uh, she is, looks hot? is slightly revealing she she has cleavage now and everyone got very mad well I say everyone Americans got very mad there you go that's the proper term come Bro, on come on <laughs> oh, God do damn it. Uh-huh, hmm. uh-huh. Hmm. Uh hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. Where'd that berry go? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my food? And boom. I said boop. That means you'd stay in there. Yeah, man. The, these guys are fucking... God damn. Like, sometimes it just fucking nails it and they stay in there. Some guys just gotta be fucking assholes about it. There we go. Make me use up. Oh, I thought you caught Rosary before. Nope. Hmm. Well, part of your problem is that you're not using the Gigaton Balls. True. You're using the... What are they? Leaden Balls. Level 2? It's the Great Ball hmm. equivalent. Where's your alpha? Hey, fellas. Where is your alpha? I need to hear the noise again.
Like the. Did you say you were gonna get like a fucking clip of it? I, I just want an isolated yeah sample of that. Are you out here gathering materials too? I guess Survey Corps must do an awful lot of crafting, just like we Supply Corps members. Gosh, when I think of it like that, I feel a new sort of kinship towards you Survey Corps people. This newfound feeling of camaraderie makes me want to share something with you. Like this! A recipe for a delicious sweet treat. Ooh. There was a dude that I found, and I just, like, talked to him, and then he gave me a recipe. So now, anytime we see, like, random people out in the world, we have to talk to them. Okay. Because right. they will give us a recipe. Okay. Pokemon love old Gateau, too. If you make enough to share, you should try giving one to your Pokemon as a treat sometimes. And then they disappear. Okay, so bye! You know that you got it. Yeah, right. Ninja outfit is end game shit. Yeah, we figured. Yeah, but when? How? Is it, is it just Where? like beat it? Is it just. Or is it you have to do a specific thing at a specific time? Yeah. And also, Foxbutt doing the fucking noise what you just did. <laughs> It's the fucking woo yeah. part. Like, it's so... And it's only the alpha. It's so fun. Yeah, the, the regular ones it just sound so beta. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the grass forming in right below you at the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, look at uh, the shitty texture on the ground. Just won't let it go, will you? Oh. When something looks shitty... I have to call it out. Do you know about Lake Valor? You're not gonna ask why I fucking just dropped from the sky like that? Beat Ninja Boss? Who's the Ninja Boss? Ninja Boss? Greninja? Uh, NGB. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey. Out of curiosity, does this game have sound settings from the get-go, or do you have to unlock it? Uh, it has it from the get-go. Do you say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle? This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. He's blue. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's heart. Or that's what the legend would have us believe. If you see a badass ninja, just kill him, that's all. <laughs> what? Head ninja in charge, okay. The end game can't say it. Okay. So like it's a named person? So it's like it's a spoiler? Yeah. Oh! A cave appears where there was none, as if just for Bevorchi. And we go, Bevorchi. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care! Okay. What Pokemon is it this time? Uh, yeah, you just go settings. Yeah, there it is. Background music, sound effects, Pokemon cries. So I can turn off sound effects and background music. And, and then just get a solid just get, sample. Just get Pokemon Cries, and then we just hear... <laughs> you love making that noise. It's so bassy <laughs> when he does it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what Pokemon is it? They're making progress and making modern games, slowly but surely. Yeah, I hate games that don't have, like... Sound oh God! Settings. Cool fish. Menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Bivorgy. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills—they're venomous. So is it poison and water, or is it just? Poison? I think it's uh, poison and dark. Ah. So, uh, I don't think any of my dudes have like a fairy move. But Garchomp has ground. To fuck him up. You must approach me. You must do the JoJo meme. Fish me. Okay. Are your are there spikes coming out of your eyes, sir? And freak will be caught up with PS2 era in no time. Yeah, I was playing fucking Overquill. Oh god. I was playing um uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2 the other day and uh was just like looking in the settings and that doesn't have like individual turn down the music turn down the sound effects turn down the voices oh it's, really it's just a single thing or, or i don't know if it even was an option to change 
the uh, audio levels. Right. Let's see uh, as someone who is ready to quill. Again, get out. We're doing terrible puns here. Yes, that's just his thing. He's trying to get away from the furry thing, even though his <laughs> name is Foxbutt. <laughs> Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh, so we had to just hit him. With bombs. Those bombs just uh, appear out of nowhere. I guess you're meant to throw them at Azov. Hey, bud. Hey! Hey! Bitch! Bitch! What the fuck? Bitch! We failed. Near a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? No. No. Are you gonna do that every time we miss like five or six times? Yeah, I, I threw... I threw five of them. Like, give me a fucking break. Or is that the point of this challenge? Sure, strength of will, not give up. Yeah, I, th I think this challenge is kind of a trick. Your voice inside your head. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? Not I'm done. not through. Not done. I know your trick. Trying to trick me into giving up? Right. Listen, buddy. I'm hilarious. I'm a laugh riot. I'm the Kenosha of comedy. What is Kenosha? Kenosha. You make a reference to something I don't know. Oh, because it was a riot. I still don't know what Kenosha is. I know you don't, but I do. Okay. As long as one of us knows. Give up! You struggle in vain! I'm not done with you! Okay, now he's like, okay, well, you're good, I guess. Alright, fucking weirdo. Hey, bud. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Okay. Thanks, Ash. Don't call me that. Huh? I'm, I'm not affiliated with him anymore. Ninja Outfit is just doing story. According to Artist Guy. Okay. I doubt who's, we're gonna wear it. Who's Ninja Boss, though? Why wouldn't we wear it? Why would, why would we? Because it's a fucking ninja outfit. Yeah, but we could be samurais. We don't have a samurai, so... Yet. Yet. And how it ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Maybe we should go to the top of Mount Coronet, to Spear Pillar. Right. Seems I've made it in time. Hey, babe. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. You're old. Don't forget, you're supposed to be an old lady, even right? though you have no wrinkles. You're old. You're just smoking hot, just like Cynthia. You look exactly like Cynthia. How do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. I'm just an old lady. <laughs> Don't How forget. How the fuck do I know? We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? What are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Oh. Who, that? who said that? Wind. Hello. 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 Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Man, I wish Brock and Dawn were here. Not Ash, though. Not Ash. Fuck you, Ash. Much like Goku. 
We we don't care for main characters in this house. Oh, it's a hula hoop! You received the red hula hoop. All right, cool. We did it. All right. I'm the best at everything. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept down for. Oh. <laughs> I just read that line. <laughs> At last, I can set this burden aside. Look, she's got she's got barely a wrinkle under her eye. Not to mention, not to mention, white hair. White hair. She's an old lady. She's old. Don't forget. She's got to step aside for the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always get you? Because it's so funny. It, it just happens all the time. Yeah. Things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, it's supposed to mean that the rest of the world's fucked. I mean, do you think it's only Hisui that has this shit going on? It seems like a global event right now. His commander's going to forego, waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Uh-oh. We're uh -oh. going to fight him, aren't we? What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against the giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Bavorchi has managed to get the red chain now, does he? He doesn't even know anything about the red chain. That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red hula hoop. Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his. Like, commander, we had the red hula hoop. We can save the world. How, how do you do it? I don't know. I don't know. I have it. I think I just hula. This is Mass Effect 3 again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, why do you look so sad? Bavorji? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back! Been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. Oh no. But with you back, maybe Captain Silene's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. I, I don't think you should do that. They kind of don't like me. I think I killed. That's I've a got, professor, that's not the captain. I've got research to turn in. Professor's been awfully worried about you, Bavorchi. Why? I don't care. I, I hate this character. Of course I was worried. Why does he have a fucking bobble hat? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. Oh man, my first girlfriend. Yeah, right. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? No. Nope. Buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. Seems her hands are more full, more than full now that Commander commodo has gone. Commander's gone. I'm free. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rip business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. That's why I was standing guard with Pikachu at the ready. You were standing at the ground acting like you just watched someone die. Right? Like you did nothing. You just looked depressed. Yeah. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. Right? All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you're here again because you managed to learn something of use. Yeah, I've got so much research to turn in. Like, I need the 10th the, star. The counter maxed out at 99, and I definitely have more than that. Right. Fucking hell. <laughs> Commander, I've managed to avoid dying. That's something that Raiden says. I will give solid to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've managed to avoid drowning. <laughs> Security Corps have been scouting the area near the space-time rift. They reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. Some type of Giratina-looking motherfucker. Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. Okay. However strong the Commander himself may be, he should have gotten Bavorchi to help. As the Captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Bevorchi! Yes. Take that red hula hoop to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, 
put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Can I turn on research? Can I turn in some research? Can I please turn in some research? You certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? Yeah, she's in charge. With the commander away, I'm in charge of the galaxy team. Yeah. If you didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then you should not have left me in charge. Boom! Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we are members of the Survey Corps. Actually, no one suggested you should not. Please. Get priorities report? Yes. Tasked with unreported data, 99. Jesus. It's more, it's more than that. Yeah. Okay. Also. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot of unknown. It is. Not all of them, though. So you're making good progress with your work on it. I expect you'll learn. Fucking turn it in now. What are you doing? It. Turn it I in. Think you gotta actually talk to the professor first. Hi. How are you? Your shiny form is stupid. What's a shiny form? Just all purple. the blue is yellow. Yellow? Yeah. Looks awful. I thought it would be purple. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, this is uh, Riley. I'm Rye. Lee. And you are? I'm Bevor. She. Oh, you're Bevochi. Nice to meet you. Groove. What is it, Lucario? Fight him. Groove. It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, hey. Yo, this chick's hot. How you doing? She always gets lost, and I have to find her, and uh, she fell in love with me because of it. Sweet. So we got we got new girlfriends. Hell yeah. All the time. <laughs> Motherfuckers named after bread. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh what? Unknown. Oh, so that's where you're finding them, just literally hanging around. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Did you look up the guide for that one? Maybe. <laughs> you just fucking like beeline to him. Oh yeah, coughing. Galarian coughing. Oh, fuck off. How do you even know that Pokemon exists in that shape? Because some of the Galaxy team are from Galaria. I thought it said something about, like, behind the building and, like, Magikarp something. Magikarp's eye. Some bullshit. Well, you're not really looking at the Magikarp, About then. the Magikarp? Yeah, I'm trying to look at the Magikarp. Bring out your Pokeball. There you go. You get a better look like that, I guess. See anything. I see it. Do you? I don't see it. Right there. I cannot. S oh, yeah, I see it now. Okay. Get him. Okay. A little there. A little more. Straight at him. Come on. There we um, go. Jesus. Can you fly to the roof? No, I can't use my can't use ride Pokemon, ride Pokemon in the village. Alright, is there another one here? Yes, there is. I can go fucking get it. Oh, I see it. Or not. I think that's like part of the bell, actually. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. No! What, do I have to battle you now? There you are, before Chirita is already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Pretty good. Commander's already at Mount Coronet. 
Who are you? It's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. <laughs> We're all about time. Well, all right then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Bivorchi. If you were to show up with no weapon, <coughs> there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. Who's the reckless one? Everyone. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you'd still try to find a way to help us all? Yeah, I'm not evil yet. I'm a good guy. I'm a hero. I'm the protagonist. That's right, but Vorchi worked hard to get that red hula hoop to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Hmm. Thanks here, take that. Thanks, take this. Oh, thanks. This is unknown. How do you have it why, unknown? Why is this covered in slobber? It, is this blood? Has this been in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp. From there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red hula hoop to resolve this mess. And three, return here. Olive. Olive? You mean... Not dead? Honey? Oh, come on. No, we Damn gotta go it. back. There was an unknown on the gate. Ah! Actually, it might have been the other gate. Maybe. At uh, Prelude Beach. Hey, it's that guy. Hey, it's Volo. I've heard the latest. So, you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? Suppose congratulations are in order. Here's some max potions for me to celebrate. Only three? Be cheap on me? It's like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red hula hoop. Be a shame if someone who was secretly evil would just steal it from you. Right. Good friend Bravorci, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Oh god, this fucking guy. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support at least. Couldn't you have been to Babe instead? Oh, to the professor. I have research to turn in. I have caught a considerable yeah. number of Pokemon. Yes, do it. I caught a lot. Oh I wasn't god. able to turn any of them oh in. Oh my god! I wasn't able to turn them in! <laughs> Total Pokemon caught 204! 134,000 fucking money! Oh god! Oh my god! I'm not gonna have enough room in my fucking uh, PC boxes. Seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Uh-huh. How many points? That's a lot of points. Oh my god! I told you I got so much research done! Split and differ as results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silene. What'd you like to do now? I'd like report to report to Captain Silene. I'd Cylene. like to report to Captain Silene. I've been waiting for this! The like, uh, before you, you've... Oh, it's so many Pokemon. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I have an addiction. <laughs> you just have baggy eyes, just looks like you haven't slept in days. You need research points. Hey, you're fine. Huh. Fine. I think if anything, it just adds more when you like start exceeding the limit. Uh, it definitely adds more because uh, we started with like, I think six. Yeah. And now we've got 29. But we've got 25 of them are already full. It's fucking... All these useless Pokemon, you're not <laughs> doing anything Well, good. I... that That's part of the, like, research stuff that I was doing. Was, like, I was using the ones that, like... You have to see them use their specific moves. Yeah. So I, I was tossing them out and using them, and then uh, 
evolving the ones where it's like, hey, you gotta get their evolutions. Like, uh, <laughs> these weasels. Oh my god. I need to fucking evolve them so that I can get rid of them. Uh, I did that with the, uh, some of the b -doofs are now b -barils. But I need to have 25. <laughs> the fuck is there a ride on here? Hey, don't worry about ride on. Get the fuck out of the b -doof box. Hey! <laughs> He's their friend. You're not welcome here, right? He's been accepted among them. <laughs> You know what? That's fine. If the Bidoof accepts you, I will accept you as well. If the Bidoof comes up to you and puts his paw up for a high five, you're cool. There it is. Little fuckers are just hanging around everywhere. Yeah. Okay. He's a Bidoof spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as, as a Bidoof. I identify as Bidoof. We are missing oh. three, five. Three pillars in a world of ice. That's the ice area. Uh, gaze down from atop the greatest glacial legacy. So that's also in the ice that's area. also the ice area. I think all of these are in the ice area. The unusual stone staring out across the snowfield. That's the ice place. That's ice. <clears throat> Scale the frozen falls. That's... Hmm? A dead tree by the hot spring. So these are all in... The ice place. All right. So all the ones that were in the village, I found them. Now we just gotta go to the ice place and get them all there. And then we're done. Unknown is finished. Got those unknowns. And then we get that achievement. There you go. Just talking to fucking Silent? Oh yeah, I forgot about that immediately. Where's my rank? I hope those extra points don't just disappear, or go to waste. No, they don't. Yeah! Now I'm a ninth star. So eighth star was all Pokemon Obeyu. What's ninth star get me? Nothing. Officially attain the rank of ninth star, Galaxy Expedition Team. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, and I present you with these. For Ten more candies. Twenty grit pebbles. And you dedicate yourself to completing Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the rank. Oh, we got one more rank left. No recipes, right? 22,000. Get to work. 980. <laughs> All humans will obey you. <laughs> yes. Silene's just... Why is he sneaking out? We all know he's here. <laughs> he's wearing bright green. <clears throat> I can see you. Yeah, she's just, I can see you, and then he goes, ah! <laughs> New, New styles, styles. let's fucking go. Right, I assume it's more patterned Kamoa. Uh, I'm gonna change up my look, because somebody said I look like Demon Slayer, and I do not want to look like Demon Slayer. All I need to do is really just not wear the green plaid. Yeah. It's the new patterns, dog. Oh, you know what it might be? Uh, what's that? Uh, the uh, motherfuckers, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And you guys fucking suck. Right. Alright, who... What fancy kimono do we want? I do kind of like the Electrode one. It's not bad. Yeah, but it's Electrode. I don't like Electrode. <laughs> Lilligant is also pretty cool. I like it. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. What was thinking... the Gyarados one? I think it was one for Gyarados, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one's cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I'll go for Gyarados. 
Now, do we get matching pants for it, or look for pants that kind of match? Well, ooh, there. <laughs> yeah, let's get these. <laughs> Uh, NGB was saying Lilligan and Sneasler. Too bad. Just Gyarados. Fancy Bottoms, chair him. Why chair him? Gyarados. I see that's that, that's too obvious of a choice. Though. Yeah, that's a little too much. Yeah. That's not bad. Eh. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yo, I like the flames. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, the flames are cool. Yeah. All right, let's go for have a look. All right. That does sound nice. Let's get uh, the the black one. Cobra Kai. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the sandals. Ten sandals. 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 You have new style of <laughs> shoes. No. Got split toe tabby boots though. Hmm. We can get a monocle. Or we can get some snow goggles. Oh god, they look awful. They do look awful. Or we can get one of these. Hmm. Oh dude, Team Rocket. Oh my god. All right, well, here's the look we're rocking right now. What do you think? Looks good, looks good. Now I have a new question. What? Is there new hairstyles? I doubt it. All oh, right. Oh uh, yeah. I have those things. Then fucking give it to her. Why are you not in my pockets? What is wrong with you? Why are you not prepared to do every single side quest right then and there? You need more inventory space. I do. All right. What did you want? Uh, King's salt leaf, crystals. Plump beans. Crunchy salt. That what? What did I think? Was it? Yes, I am here. Is this the shit you wanted? Aren't you saw it? Plump beans, King's Leaf. I got it. Let's get pickling. Let's fucking go. Yo. Yo. Lovely. I already have the sand radishes I need, so let's get pickling. Now for the final step. All we need to do is place Geodude on top of the pot, and it's done. Right. What in the world? It's Graveler! Grave. Gosh, Geodude changed shape. Is that evolution business I've heard people talk about? What about the pickles? What about the pickles? Oh my, this is twice as good as I expected. I'll call it the twice spiced radish. It truly is the perfect pickle dish. Why, with the help <clears throat> of Pokemon, there's no limits to what a cook can accomplish. Thank you so much for helping me out. Sweet. The pickles. Alright. Fuck this place forever then. There we go. Keep all the essentials. Alright. Let's actually fucking go. Yeah. To the summit camp. An outbreak of something. I saw it. Yeah, there was Stantler and Staravia in different areas, not not the area that we need to go to. Right. Fucking assholes. All right. Let's go. Get the fuck up there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Fly, fly, fly. Hello. Oh, it's Luxray. Hello. Chuck. <laughs> what about Mochi? What about Mochi? What about it? 
We got something better than mochi. We can't eat mochi on our own. We can only eat the mochi when uh, the plot dictates. Right. Listen, <laughs> just like there's plot armor, there's plot eating. Mochi is a plot sensitive meal. There you go. Context sensitive. Yeah. Oh shit! Benny? I should have, uh, taught... delayed the elemental punches, <clears throat> if it can even learn them. I don't think it could. I think it probably should. Instead, it will be elemental slashes. No, I think he's got punches as well. Yeah, but I want, I want him to have elemental sword attacks. I do too, but I don't think that's a thing. Let's kill this Alpha Electivire. Okay. Ow. Don't knock me down! Don't touch me, bro! What if I tell you Mochi has something to do with Ninja, huh? Does it? Is he the Ninja? I mean, I'm just telling you, we can't eat Mochi. Yeah. We can't go there and be like, I want some Mochi. I... Thing. Did you ever talk to him outside of? Yeah. Okay. Only time we can eat potato mochi is when, uh, they really should have just called them pancakes. Right. They look like fucking pancakes. They look like pancakes. I want some pancakes. The only time we can eat pancakes is when, uh, the story says, "Hey, go eat some pancakes." Right. I got fucking ego waffles. Like a couple days ago. Uh huh. They're fucking gone. <laughs> Can't have nothing. <laughs> oh, did your fucking niece and nephew steal them? Uh, my niece definitely stole a few. I, I thought you were implying I ate them all in like, <laughs> two days. I wish I did. Hello. Oh, it's Mochi Man. We're gonna that slouch anywhere. Potato pancakes sound good, but they are really mediocre. Oh ho! Still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Taskmaster Commodo has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all! Oh, shit. Are you serious? I don't understand. Make myself plain. As Commodo's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Commodo can't or won't do himself. So he's the ninja. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. What are his plans? Besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. I was not expecting this turn of events. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Oh my god. Yo! What the fuck is that hair, though? Yeah, he's got like, like two hairs. That, that kind of looks like Wally's hairstyle. Yeah, a little bit. But I don't make my blood run hot and my heart pound at last. At last. Got like a streak in his gray hair. Yeah. What is this? Oh! His hair looks like Aaron! One of the Sinnoh Elite Four. Okay. Go ahead and look him up. Okay, how do you spell his name? Aaron. Okay, how do you spell Aaron? How do you not know how to spell Aaron? Because I don't know if it's an A. A. Okay. All right, well, he's gonna die pretty quickly. Look at him, hey, walk over there and look at him with that fucking ninja pose. Or can you even? Yeah, one second. Send out your next Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's definitely Aaron's hair. Holy shit. Look at him, look at him staring at you fucking death. Fucking Kakashi looking piece of shit. I like this music, though. Oh, 
<laughs> guard March is looking at this giant guard chop. Just <laughs> please be gentle. <laughs> Sneasler. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. I was I was about to say that bitch just ran away the moment he saw it. <laughs> Yo, to anyone playing this game, Alpha Garchomp. Get, like, when you see an Alpha Garchomp, catch that motherfucker. Yeah. Because this dude fucks. This dude is a beast. Oh, how to kill you. What, did, what level did you catch this motherfucker? 85. Okay. He's a pretty high level to start with. Yeah. So yeah, bring up... Air A A Ron and compare that hair. I mean the the hoge is a lot larger on him, but yeah. That's pretty much it. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. Only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. To be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Beborchi. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Like the skill you use in battle. I just told Garchomp to kill you and he did. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing that always annoyed me with uh, Pokemon games. It's like, oh, your skill in battling with your Pokemon. It's like, dude, I'm just standing here. Dude, I just told my fucking dude to use Earthquake. Like, oh, the skill you have with your Pokemon. I'm level 100 and you're still 30. Right. Medical as it may be. Pokemon were to appear from the space timer. Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. That sounds more like a threat than anything. The fact that he's got like two tone hair is weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, the fucking Ahoge. On AA Ron is, is a lot larger. A lot larger. If like, anything, if you look at the green streak on his hair, uh huh. That's about the size of the Ahoke. It's just like, yeah. He's just like folded it down. That long. Yeah. But yeah, he's even got like some green to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh... Makes more sense in the context of how things are done in the manga. Doesn't really make sense in the context of an RPG. Yeah, in the manga, uh, Pokemon Special. Oh, which yeah, is yeah. one of my favorite mangas. Alright, so we got... Uh, Azelf. Yeah, Azelf. That's Azelf. That's Regigigas. Manaphy. It's Cleavor. That's, uh... Uh, Dialga, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's Avalug. Is it Avalug? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, I see the symbol now. Okay, yeah. Who's that one? That? Hard to I tell. think that's Arcanine. Hard to tell. Uh, maybe. Uh, that's Weird Ear. That's Weird Ear. Basque Legion. Uh, <clears throat> Lilligant. Lilligant, I forgot about you. Darkrai. Yep, that's definitely Darkrai. I don't know if that's Arcanine. I thought Arcanine's symbol was uh, red. Hmm. But I don't know who else it could it's be. It's got something in its chest, though, so that might be something. Chest. Huh. Alright, let's go fight Kamado, who I'm hoping is dressed in samurai armor. Showing oh, that we can that get would samurai. Be so fucking sick. Yeah, we are. We just fought a ninja. Let's fight a samurai. Let's fight a samurai. Give me some samurai armor. Let's fucking do it. I hope that the ninja armor that we unlock actually has some kind of bonus to stealth. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. I want it to happen. I want that Hello. to be the case because otherwise, what's the oh, point? You. Uh, so I don't worth think it. I really need anything. Hey, cutie. And Irida. Hey, what's up? You've brought the red hula hoop. Vivorchi. You're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. Give me the Nobunaga of Pokemon. You mean, uh, Pokemon Conquest? 
What was I've, Nobunaga's Pokemon in that? Um, he had a uh, Rayquaza. Really? I, I'm pretty sure. Black Rayquaza. Ah, okay. On the end game now, that was fast. Only took us, what, five streams? Uh, yeah, this is stream five. Yeah. Oh, sense into the commander. Come but of course, uh, there's like the post game stuff where we get all the plates and then we unlock the true ending. He's definitely wearing armor. Yeah, it's not really samurai, but it it's looks not, cool. It's not as cool. Nobunaga's already in Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon Conquest. Yeah. It was a uh, like crossover of Pokemon and Nobunaga's Ambition. Which is like a turn based game, I think. Yeah. Based strategy, kind of. Uh, oh, wait, no, wasn't it like Final it was, Fantasy Tactics? It was sort of like Tactics. Yeah. Uh, and it used character designs from uh, Samurai Warriors. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't need to get that thing. And I should know, I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise through the trial set by the three Pokemon of the likes. He somehow concocted all of that on his own. Then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you are right. Jingle jangle. If I were to simply place my faith in this boy and that faith were to be betrayed, how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine, enough! Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Bevorchi. Today we battle in earnest. Okay. Galaxy Team's Kamado challenged you to battle. You're like a baseball. Alright. This isn't that fucking soundtrack. Right. That's a powerful braviary. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in one hit. So I could just be like, well. Kamado doesn't need Pokemon. He easily can beat the crap out of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I want so bad just fuck him up right now while the Pokemon are fighting. Like, he could just beat the shit out of me, but then I would send out my Garchomp to defend me. He just fucking, like, sumo slams Garchomp. is like, oh. <laughs> oh. This dude's serious. This dude uh, specializes in fighting Pokemon. Without Pokemon. Alright, who's next for Garchomp to destroy? Right. I'm Cynthia now. Basically. Oh no, Agile! Oh no, if only that wasn't shit. You could have probably done something. Oh no, that's something. That's something bad. Don't worry about that. Garchomp is the most powerful Pokemon in this whole entire game. I know. You probably fuck up all the legendaries too. I mean, uh, I was able to get him at level 85, so it was really easy to make him the strongest. Oh fuck, this Clefable might fuck me up. Oh, uh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna use a fairy type move. Don't worry about it, just kill it quick. Never mind. Kill it quick. Come on, I'll use a seismic toss. <laughs> yeah. He just grabs fucking Garchomp and he's just like, uh oh. <laughs> he's a fucking uh, sumo slammer. Yeah. Garchomp's Oh, uh, there we go. Fuck you, fairy types. You exist only because Dragon is strong. Yeah. Only because Dragon is so badass. Oh, you know what? Time for you to die from, uh... Steel, Flash Cannon. Yeah, Steel! Steel Fuck is you. super effective against Fairy for some reason. Yeah, that's weird. Like, I hate that they added Fairy, because then it feels like they had to panic and be like, Okay, what, what is it effective against? What, what, what other types match up against it? Uh, Poison! Yeah. Uh, Steel! Pokemon Legends Garchomp, hell yeah! He's sad now. It's not sad, he's just, hmm. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. I don't know about that. I mean, if anything, just throw a berry at it and I'll toss a Gigaton ball at its asshole. Yeah, what, what if you could be friends with it instead of having to eliminate it? Right? Who 
Goku. Oh. He's apologizing. Vivorchi, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize <coughs> sincerely for doubting you. No, I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Okay. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red hula hoop. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, but can Bevorchi hula hoop? What is a hula hoop? What are you referencing? What kind of future tech? Where? Why is there green fart gas all over? That's just what it looks like, man. Is that what Aurora Borealis really is? It is just green fart gas? Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to fight something. Time to fight, uh... Hopefully Dialga? Weirdeer and Cleavor. Oh yeah, the statues of them. Ursaluna and the Lilligant. And... Statue of the Pokemon that was said to have been loyal to the ancient hero. Statue of one of the Pokemon that was said to have been loyal to the ancient hero. Arcanine. I hate Escalation. the electrodes there. Shitty electrode. I, I hate electrode. Sneasler, Braviary, Avalug. That is not nearly Looking as a little big. small there, yeah. Avalug. <laughs> Someone cut you down to size, bitch. All right. <clears throat> it's time to use the red hula hoop. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. Hey, something's talking inside my head. Oh, that can't be good. You hold. The red hula hoop. Try to catch me then, human! Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Oh. It's telling me, you hold the red hula hoop. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come! Take these. What is it? Pokeballs. Oh. Hi. Alrighty then. Can I change my Pokemon's moves real quick? No. Both over lecture are fucking penis tier. Yeah, they suck. They shouldn't be here. Especially design wise. Yeah, they should not <clears throat> be in a world that exists before Pokeballs. Right? That's their whole thing. Hey, Dialga. Can you be shiny so you look like Diamond Head? And a hula! Oh, he has a hula. He broke it! Hey, one second, bro. Okay. Go, Garchomp. Let's fucking get him. What happens if I just fucking kill him? Then you don't catch him. Four time! Oh, this is coming high. Whoa! Whoa! Well, that doesn't seem good. He one shot our best Pokemon. Aircross, go get him! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This might be bad. Only fighting is super effective against him. Okay. Here, let's use Cleavor. Y'all get said no. <laughs> yeah, to us using the fucking hula hoop against him. He's a hula champ. Hopefully, this doesn't kill it. Ooh. Yes! Alright, time to catch him. I'm gonna need to get a Master Ball for this occasion. Is that even a thing? Oh wait, no, that wouldn't make sense then. Because the Master Ball was invented by Sylphco. Yeah. Alright, well this is gonna take a while. Don't kill me so hard! 
Sir, please. All right, come on, come on. Yay! Two Ultra Balls. Two Ultra Balls for a legendary Pokemon. That's unheard of. I always, I always that, see people doing like 50. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Where's the real boss fight though? Well, that's gonna be against Arceus. He caught it. That, that's the, the secret final boss. Yeah. Because we have to get the rest of the plates <clears throat> and then we come back here and we can summon Arceus. And then... Uh, and then Volo shows up and is like, I'm Arceus. Yeah, Volo shows up and he's like, finally I can... Uh, Complete my evil plan of fusing with Arceus. Oh, God. Happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. But I called him. Get out of my mind. Space time is torn. Awful. Power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, Huan, fight it with me. And there's another one. The red chain smashed to bits. No way even Bavorchi could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one just now. Oh, is it is it Palkia? Yeah. Now I have to fight Palkia using Dialga. <coughs> hey buddy. Is it true that Volo is a bad guy? That's what we're assuming. We're assuming he's a bad guy. He seems suspicious. And we've been saying that like the entire game. Right. He was overly friendly at first. Yeah. That's a fucking Popeye laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy dog. Book it, come on! Gonna make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. Commander, you can't just leave it here. You dunce! It won't <laughs> be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. I gotta fight it. Oh. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Beborchi. You notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there are really two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? Let's apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Bavorchi. And to you, Bevorchi. Yes. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. Despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. I like it here. I like the samurai times. <laughs> it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space time, right? We understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. Tenable attitude indeed. So let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. Yeah, don't worry about it. I took pictures. You started talking with an Osaka accent. <laughs> You said fuck it. <laughs> it seems that having Bevorchi about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We, we've we had no chance getting through this disaster without you. Like, what the hell are they talking about? They just call it Dialga. Why would they worry so much about the equally powered Palkia? Because it's going to be frenzied, it said. Yeah, Palkia was frenzied. <clears throat> yeah. According to Dialga. Along with its name, it also told me what we need. Stone of Creation's beginning. Okay, we gotta do another fetch quest. The Chain of Red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. Humankind's invention? A Pokeball? Finally, 
Mighty Diago said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The pieces, anyway. I did collect them. Vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. Wait. That's got, we're about to create the fucking Master Ball. We're gonna create the fucking Master Ball. What about that stone of creation's beginning part? Ian might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ores sometimes. He keeps yelling at me that they're minerals when I call them stones. Yeah. That's so, then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. What are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Mm, nope. Oh. oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. The virtue, my good boy. Uh, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? Ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them? Oh, that's right, he did say that. Yeah, because he's evil and knows things. And then he got really weird about it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just as I remember, here on the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. We need the other plates. What do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. I haven't mentioned it, that Volo fellow is coming around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's almost like he's super fucking suspicious. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin War. <laughs> Here it is. May we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. I can't believe we're about to make the fucking Master Bowl. Yeah. We're gonna use it on Palkia, I guess. Wait, as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came, so I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. I would rather have the kid show up than you. Yeah. Now, Adam and I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Shut the fuck up, Melly. Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adam, in and make it a good one. Oh my god. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our class from panicking. Take a fucking hit! Oh, Adam, and oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. I think this is a road for your adorable efforts, just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Dude, I beat the fuck out of you like eight times. I am 100% tempted to go back and have us choose Irida, because I know damn well it would be someone better than this fucker talking to us. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. No, I think this would be playing out exactly the same. These sweet ores and stones are a precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle. That bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? You also have a stupidly oversized tree. Ellie, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man! I'm back home is all worked up about the fact you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh or Mighty Dialga or whatever. This is Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Wouldn't lay if you would. Certainly. Let us set out at once. We make for the Primeval Grotto. The new area? Uh, no, I think I have actually seen the ore that they're talking about. Uh-huh. Well, now we've got some new- Steel! That caught me off guard. Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my spiel. Its adorable round body causes it to go rolling down the hill, <laughs> and it's headed straight for the stone tooth. <laughs> to roll the roll line. 
This area's are full of dangerous Pokemon. You're that new survey core member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear Sfield. I just now have a mental image of a Sfield just rolling downhill with a goofy smile on its face. Just Sfield. Rotom. <laughs> oh, hey, Rotom. Go catch him. Or Barry. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, we got him. Why the fuck does Rotom exist here? Good question. Ooh, it's Miss Magius. Hey, another Rotom. This is a new area. Uh, it's not new. We just haven't been here. Okay. Or at least you haven't been here. Yeah, there's a, there's a few Pokemon in this game that should not exist because uh, they were in Because of the lore. Yeah. Porygon is fucking in this. Granted, Bye. you can only catch him in a, a space-time distortion. distortion. That itself seems fine. Uh-huh. Because space-time shenanigans. Because time is convoluted. Yeah. So, in that essence, Rotom should also only show up in those. And Voltorb. Yes. But not just in the wild naturally like they've already existed. Or like one of the fucking uh, guardians, like the ancient guardians right? that helped to create the land or whatever. A fucking electrode? Fuck you. Also, our sky is finding Spiel very cute. Our sky likes things that are small and round. Because he also is he also, Rowlet. Yeah. Fell in love with, and he wanted us to call it Banjo. For some reason. Because our name was Bevocci, and according to him, Banjo also sounds Italian. It doesn't. It doesn't to us, but to his Thailand ears. Hey, a golem. Uh, actually, I need to beat you with a fighting type. You can do a lot of things. I never see wild Rowlet. You mean white Rowlet? Dunny? Because Rowlet's white. He's brown and white. Dunny, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Unless shiny Rowlet is more white. Hi, Hunter. Don't. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. You fucked this up for me. Ah! Oh god, Hunter, no! I didn't even notice the fucking food. Hunter, no. Okay. Forest Rowlet? Again, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you can't just say things and act like we know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to say things that make sense to us. No, no. You know what, fuck it. You probably already caught it anyway. I haven't. That's the only reason I'm trying to catch it now. Right. Wanna go, dude? Excuse me? Do you better use fucking rock slide? I'm trying. <laughs> trying. <laughs> Just take it slow. Yeah. Make sure you don't have any typo we, errors. We get there's a language barrier, too. We're, we're not trying to be, like, jerks about it. Yeah. Unless you like that kind of thing. We're just messing with you. Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Good. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. And... Yay! 
got a golem. Something is shining over there. Sphiel. Yo, yeah, Sphiel's just right there. Hanging out with his graveler. They're both round boys. This one is cuter. Yeah, Graveler. Oh. Pretty adorable. Graveler is not cute at all. Spiel, on the other hand, you just pick him up. And I, he's like, like, hey. uh, I like the Alolan Graveler. <clears throat> they made like Alolan uh, Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. I don't remember that at all. They just have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and Golem has like a big bushy beard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And uh, they're uh, rock electric. Ah. Gravel looks like a chunky shit ball. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, it's funny. He's a funnier Pokemon than we've ever had. He'll go. There he is. He just wanted a drink. Wild Rowlet is what I wanted to say. I don't think there is. I don't is. think there's any wild ones. Sweet. Bye. My goodness, Feel, I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. Hello. You escorted Feel all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please meet me back at the summit camp. I'll thank you properly there. With a blowjob. Sweet. Please, no. There's no blowjob. I have a girlfriend. Several. I have many girlfriends. I have approximate ownership of many girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where was it? Primeval Grotto. So many satchels. I'm legitimately wondering how all these players are dying. Uh, because they're trying to catch fucking alpha Pokemon. It's so easy, though. Just kill everything else. Pretty easy. I hate that you can't really fly. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right, Sneasley. That was some Assassin's Creed shit. Right? <laughs> it was not the thing I was trying to climb up. Right? Have you found a tentacruel yet? Uh, yes. I wasn't able to catch it. Nice. Why did you do that? Wrong button. Fucking fool. Why did you forget this fall damage? Oh. Yeah, I've. Hello, ominous evil stone. I came uh, around here before, and I was like, "Hey, what's this?" And I went and uh, investigated it, and it was like, "Hmm, this is a strange ore. It has mysterious power. Hmm, this seems plot relevant. Something like that, right? Hmm. Hmm." Probably make a master ball out of this. Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my sligoo's moves. Got you had that. You'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever, dude. We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. The bandit trio. Fucking misfortune. I was about to say, why is there only two of you? Oh, uh, the cutie babes. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Hmm. I don't have to tell you nothing. Okay. You can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. No. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure. But if this, is, if this isn't about what... Take a moment. I don't know. Collect yourself. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. There you go. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's <coughs> way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go. But Warchi, you take charm. Is that the hot one? That's the hot one. They're all the hot ones. Yeah, but she's got the bigger boobs. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to you. Crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime! Uh, Arctic guy says, I watch a Rowlet in anime a bit, and it made me love Rowlet even more. 
and rally its second evolution. You just, you just like small round things. He likes the little guys. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Rowlet is adorable and was my uh, starter in Sun and Moon. Also, Foxbutt says, oh, that's Clint's ancestor or whatever his name is. It's Clay, the, the cowboy fella. It's Clay, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the cowboy fella from Black and White, I believe. The uh, Yeehaw Man. You know, Cowboy Troy. Sure. Hiccup, or whatever the fuck you call it. Yeah, Hiccup. Not what I call it. It's just what it is. The death? Nope. This it's one death. probably is. This is death. Oh no, it's just sleep. Or drowsy, which... I... Yeah, it's like paralysis. Oh my god, three times in a row? <coughs> Dude, that's bullshit. I don't like this new turn system. Like, they, they really, uh... uh brought down the other ones because instead of frozen it's frostbite which is just burn but ice yeah and also like weakens your attack or something something like that yeah uh and then you've got paralysis still works the same though doesn't it yeah and then drowsy instead of sleep oh you know what that does works the same as it, sl it slows you down that's why he was able to attack three fucking times oh yeah good point yeah they're, they're making it work within the new action order system. That's cool. That is kind of cool. That makes uh, hypnosis overpowered. <laughs> Not really. But yeah, like makes you slower in the action order and works like paralysis where sometimes you just won't do anything. Yeah. I haven't played anything after Emerald. I am sorry. Hey, don't worry about it. I haven't. Shh, hey, calm down. It's okay. Bro. It's okay. It's okay. We're all failures, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. Could really use someone as strong as you are. You joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. Strong as ever, Bivorchi. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the map. Uh, it's called a Pokemon. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beat. Remember that. The three of you try and come into my bedroom like at the start of Rise. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, those three, what do they even come here for? To give me blowjobs! Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. You give me blowjobs and all of you were here! You ruined it! The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. Wait, you knew coin? I suspect, yeah, she was part of the Pearl Clan. Huh. Just as Clover was part of the Diamond Clan. And maybe Charm was part of the Galaxy Team? I don't know. Uh, she's gonna be Galaxy Team. I suspect they may even have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. They should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that attitude. Yeah, they're Sundari. Yeah. I didn't even realize yeah. Sligu's body. Oh, it looks so bad. It looks like it's high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I got the Zor. I'm making Master Ball. Bro. Dude, what if we, like, make the Master Ball before it actually existed? What if we didn't make the Master Ball, and we instead make a Master Bond? Like, it, it can smoke anything. Dude, what if, like... Bro. What if, to us, you're the Pokemon? <laughs> what happens if somebody throws a Pokeball at a person? Dude. Can a Pokemon throw a Pokeball? And would that Pokemon then be a trainer? Dude. What do I need to What the beat fuck was that, with? though? What? Something was approaching you. What was it? What do you mean? Like to your left. Oh, okay. Jesus. I I thought I saw something different. It was did not look like that for a brief second to me. What did you think it was? I don't know. That's why I was asking. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> what if we feed Pokemon weed? We were just doing that. <laughs> that was the bit. 
Don't yell at our fans. <laughs> Fox was just, everyone wants to molest you or be molested by you. No, we don't want to molest anyone. Yeah, they we want, want to it. Fuck them. That, that's what he said. They want it. <laughs> they want to fucking sneak into our room and give us blowjobs. That's their deal. Yeah. We don't have anything to do with it. We have no control over that, nor will we try and stop you. Yeah. <laughs> They're completely in control of their own actions. If they want to fucking give me blowjobs, that's that's their choice. I am not And I fully support a woman's choice to give me blowjobs. <laughs> I am not one to interfere in God's plan. <laughs> It's twice. That's twice the stream gotten horny. <laughs> All it took was just the bandit trio showing up. Those girls have some power. Hey man. I I can't help it that they're cutie babes. <laughs> Listen, Nintendo has a thing with making gorgeous women. Cutie babes. Yeah, that too. So this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin, or, hmm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? No. I'm meaning to ask, since you brought that up, but the origin of what, exactly? <laughs> of everything, by the sound of it. Here me. that Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Jesus Christ. Our yeah. guy really wants us to just Bouncing get that ninja all outfit. over the place. I want the ninja outfit. And Rowlet. It says, I like old lady and Rowlet. Oh, okay. You missed that one. Here you are, Professor Laventon. What remains of the red chain? Broken as a man. Yeah, the fucking uh, quote unquote old lady is just Cynthia. Yeah. Cynthia, but white hair. And wearing a fancy dress. Fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. Now it's time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Is it going to be the Master Ball it's or the, master the ball. Origin Ball? I think it's going to be the Master Ball, and probably there's like some story reason why I can only use it on Palkia. Or yeah, something. yeah. It may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you are best way to outside. Oh, man. All this running around and fetching shit. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. Sitting back and waiting actually solve things, I'd sit forever because that'd be using time well, unlike this. We've done it, Bevorci! Hey, you didn't let me finish reading it. Right? I yeah. dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Over here now. Alright, so, not Master Ball. It looks kind of cool, though. A singular and irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Yeah, beat him um, up a bit. I feel like there was... A oh, special Pokeball in uh, the real games that was like all red like that. It the wasn't only, an origin ball. The only Pokeball I recall being like looking really significant was the Premier Ball. Yeah. If you recall that. I do recall that. But this is the opposite. Where yeah. the, the Premier Ball was all white. This one is all red. Mm. I think... <laughs> I think it might be... Um, the, like, special event Pokeball that, like, uh, you know, shit you get from, like, Pokemon events, like, uh, uh, Jirachi and you and shit like that. Uh-huh. I think that was a ball like that. Maybe. So I think, like, uh, the Ho-Oh that you get from, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Mm-hmm. Remember Pokemon Coliseum? Vaguely. I never, I never got to Ho-Oh in Pokemon Coliseum. What?! Like, I, I didn't beat the fucking whatever it was. The Mount Battle? Yeah, I never beat that. How did you not beat Mount Battle? I just I just didn't. It was one of the... I think I, think I tried and, like, got fucked up by 
some level of it. I think there was a level where it was uh, one Pokemon would use Protect, the other one would use Self-Destruct or Earthquake or something. Uh huh. And then I just kept dying at some point. I never got to Ho-Oh. Wow, you suck. I didn't care. You didn't get Ho-Oh. I didn't care. I didn't. I don't like Ho-Oh. Oh my God! You didn't have a complete Pokedex in Gen Three. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Listen, the only time I ever tried to get a complete Pokedex was actually when we were playing Sun and Moon. And I gave up after I learned about the barcode bullshit. Barcode? Or not barcode, QR code shit. What are like, you talking about? Like the special Pokemon that would show up it, if you like, scan a QR code with your DS? When I questioned it, that means I don't know what you're talking about. That, that was a thing with Sun and Moon, where if you scan a QR code on a certain day, a specific Pokemon will show up that doesn't show up normally. Like, uh, the fucking sword Pokemon will just show up if you scan a QR code. Uh-huh. And you have to catch it. Just getting a lot more inventory. Yeah, I know. I'm just prepping. <laughs> prepping for what? Expensive. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, don't ever fucking stop. Listen, motherfucker, nobody has a complete Pokedex in Let's Gen go. 3. Unless they went through that limited time and region limited Deoxys bullshit. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the Deoxys thing was. I don't remember how I got a Deoxys, but I had a Deoxys. I used a Game Shark. Because I didn't know about no special fucking event. I, uh. I think I had a Game Shark for uh, Game Boy Advance. I didn't either until I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how I got it. Like, I got it from you. Maybe. I just remember uh, one of the things I did because I'm a fucking loser. Yeah. Was. A <laughs> Was, uh, that used, tracks. Was used the Game Shark to be like, okay, all Pokemon are like Kyogre or something. And then I would go to the very first route and catch it at lowest catch a level. level two Kyogre. Yeah. And just be like, guys, look, I have a Kyogre. Why is it level two? Don't ask questions. Don't worry about that. What? I didn't cheat. No. Ninja attire, white lily. There. Ninja attire, dark slate. Ninja attire, crimson. Daffodil, pine, sapphire, Andrin, indigo, amethyst, azalea, blue spruce, ochre. Chartreuse, Scarlet, Teal, Tailored Suit. Also, did I did I see the fucking bandit outfit what at some mean? point? What do you mean? I, I, th I think we were going to the ninja. I think I saw a glimpse of something that looked like the bandit sister's outfit. What are you talking about? Like the top of it. I don't know. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because all that's here is ninjas. Uh, is there a ninja mask here? Hopefully. Ninja mask. Yeah. I'm disappointed so, that none of the ninja outfits are Pokemon themed. Oh yeah, that would have been nice. That would have been great. Cobra Kai. Not Cobra Kai. Black, that's the color. Listen, it's either Cobra Kai, Sub-Zero, or Scorpion. Oh yeah, I should have gotten fucking Sub-Zero or Scorpion colors. Hey, I fucking put on the Dark Slate ones. Bitch. Give me my ninja tabbies. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need... I want to be ninja. What the fuck are you? <laughs> what song is that? There's some fucking like. Oh, hey, it's a babe. Some fucking super cringy song that some lady sang about how she wants to be a ninja. <laughs> and it was like very long and very cring. Very cring and pretty racist. Oh no. Because she's saying she's a white lady and she's like I want to be ninja. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, well said. 
Now, hearken to my words, young one. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Dialga at your side and make it for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Okay, I have a I have a question. Huh? We have two legendary Pokemon. One rules all of space and one rules all of time. You don't think that's maybe a little too much for me, a single person? To yeah. Have? I just catch Pokemon for the lulls, guys. But, I just uh, need to get more research points. But uh, to my actual point I was going to go to. <laughs> uh, About how you want to be ninja? No, I don't want to. I don't want to be samurai more than ninja. I do too. Yeah. But, but I Pokemon want to be samurai. <laughs> it's not racist. It was true. It's not racist because I'm imitating a white lady. Yeah. All right. So we have the Pokemon that's a ruler of space and Pokemon that's a ruler of time. Where do they fall on the power scale compared to what I think X and Y was? Was the Pokemon of life and the Pokemon of death? Yeah, I I don't remember. I don't remember much about X and Y. Yeah. Because like X and Y was uh, kind of fucking lame. Yeah. I Time cannot be severed from space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what I'm getting at is the moment you guys created God. Yeah. How can you top that? that that's why I think uh, Gen 4 is pretty much like the end. Yeah. Of Pokemon. Except I really like the uh, uh, the elemental monkeys that they introduced in Gen 5. Yeah, the elemental monkeys are cool. Fucking was it Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Poor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Are you gonna change your outfit? Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, Young's man? Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bavorchi, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more! If we come back, and she just looks like she fucking looks Cynthia. She looks like Cynthia. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden it's revealed, oh, that's just Cynthia's ancestor. When we're fucking no. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously this looks like Cynthia. We know that. Right? Jennifer Murphy song? Yeah, that's her. Uh, her... Her last name Murphy, uh -huh. uh, because her family is the company that created the Murphy bed. You know what the Murphy bed is? I've never heard of that. That's the bed that like folds up into the wall. Oh, right. They're like small apartment-looking beds. Sure. Like any any t in any fucking like sitcom or whatever. Whenever someone gets a small apartment, they're like, "Where's the bed? Oh, it's right here." And they, right. like, unfolded from the wall. It's a punchline. Yeah. <laughs> he was, like, completely stunned. Like, is this fucking mud? <laughs> but, oh, that's um, great. Yeah, she... So, to tie it into her fucking family company, she has one line in there about a Murphy bed. And then it's just all about how... She wants to be a ninja. She wants to be a ninja and how she's going to train to be a ninja. And she'll follow the ninja code. And she's also super racist she, about it. She's... well... She doesn't she's, really say anything racist, she just uses that racist accent. Yeah. I want to be ninja! <laughs> <laughs> and like... Uh, it, it's at like some sort of like a corporate party or whatever. Oh and, no! And like... Singing four people? Everybody... yeah! And everybody is just like awkwardly like listening to her and very prominently like like she's here singing and just like right there like three feet away from her are like two Asian women oh and, and she's god. just like singing this shit. Oh my god. Yeah, it's super cring. I found out about it because of YMS. Just the boy I've been waiting for. 
I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Yeah, because you're the bad guy. Besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. You have Giratina, don't you? I do not trust you. <laughs> no, I already told you what his plan is. Uh, he He's going to wait for Arceus to show up and then use his evil powers to fuse with it. And then he gets the powers of Arceus. And then it becomes that cool Pokemon manga series where they had like the oh, crystals. Oh yeah, Pokemon Rebirth. Yeah, that's what it was. That shit's so fucking cool. Instead of catching it in a Pokeball, like Pokeballs still exist in that world, but there's a second method of capturing Pokemon, which is like the Rebirth Crystal or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, and instead of like sending it out to do battle, it lets you combine your like essences right with it and then you become like basically a gajinka and you have the power of the pokemon so it's a thousand times it's better it's so much cooler than anything the games have done than even this this is super cool like i love this game this is a great direction for the series to go in yeah but the crystals but pokemon rebirth is so much fucking cooler Ibivorchi, let's meet tomorrow together. That's supposed to be. You think it's it a means? saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Let's meet tomorrow together. Right. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Ibivorchi, protect Hisui and her people, protect time and space, or her Pokemon. Also, use the Master Ball. Are you a ninja? Who gave you that? I want to be ninja. <laughs> I'm going to play that song for you he's once just, we're done. He's, he's just hearing him singing. It's like, this is our hero. <laughs> All right, Palkia. That's not the right ball. That's Dialga's ball. Now he's frenzied. Yep. Oh, shit. Shit. If you remember in Diamond and Pearl, this is the spear pillar, and it's completely destroyed. Oh, uh, okay. We just destroyed it. Here, this is. Are you okay? Dude's crackling with energy like Super Saiyan 2. He's crackling Oat Brand. Is it just straight up a cutscene? I think it's a cutscene. Use the origin ball. Oh. Oh. Bad horse, bad horse, bad horse, bad horse. Why is he a centaur? Because it's bad horse. That looks such shit. He rides across the nation, the thoroughbred of sin. Shut up. <laughs> Not referencing a badass song. Oh. So we're doing this then. We have a space palm. Who gave us this? Uh, Dialga. Oh, good fucking god. No! These cars are not going oh. far enough. And then when you get close, that happens. All right, come on, come on. Oh, why the fuck is Restream doing that? Doing what? Just new messages and not scrolling down. All right, this doesn't seem that hard. Not that bad now that I've got a bit of a hang on it. Ooh, so yeah, watch out for that. That's the tricky part. Actually hit, hit him. him. God, I missed the range when we were fighting the giant one. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, meteor shower. 
Oh, and those are staying there. Cool. Fuck. Uh oh. Yo, the music's fucking hype. Oh, come on. Yeah, just focus on dodging. Oh, nailed it. Yo, first try, clutch. All right, let's scroll this down. Yep. Uh, we got Foxbutt calling it a dumb centaur bitch. Yeah, ain't got no fucking arms. Ain't, ain't even, even got, got arms. arms. Uh oh. <laughs> this goes right to his face. This is bad. Oh shit. Nubby fucking shoulders with no- Not just nubby fucking shoulders, but just his fucking shoulder plates. Yeah. Oh, it's the sky clearing. I thought it was Arceus just coming like, This is mine! <laughs> <laughs> Not for you! How's it feel, Pokya? To be a bitch. <laughs> So yeah, I think we just beat the game. Well, uh, again, I know post game shit. I'm assuming there's the post game story where we get all the plates and then uh, Arceus yeah. finally shows up. Yes. Oh, good show. What a catch. You contain that fearsome thing of the origin ball. Absolutely. Stouting as ever, Bevorgy. Thanks, Sino. Minimal as usual, Bivorchi. Who are you? This is the first thing you've said in like fucking two streams. Fi Fifteen hours of hanging out. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Like uh, since coming back to the village, when she's like, Bivorchi, is that you? Yeah. A and then to now, she hasn't said a fucking thing. Right. Recite to a witness. Like these two really like took over the sidekick role. Yeah, really. Oh. Once they showed up. Oh, he ran away. What gives, Commander? I'm not sure I deserved oh, no. a sumo throw. Yeah, we can't animate that. That would be too much work. I wish you could, though. I well, like I like funny things. At least it seems this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity cannon unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans! This will be the greatest celebration Hisui's ever seen! Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? Yeah, you fucking work together. Get over it. Yeah. As it turns out, we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own. I guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrong or right are ancient history now. Our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. This may well be the best path forward, protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. We shall rename it Sinnoh. That sounds stupid. Shut up! <laughs> I will seismic toss you! Are we gonna get a message on our phone? Oh. oh man, I, I want to change the like in-game ringtone of my Arceus phone to be that the I want to be a ninja. I want to be ninja. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm playing that song for you. Don't please, worry. please don't. Don't worry. I'll Come play. With me. I'll play a little bit of it because literally it's like fucking eight minutes long. Oh god. It's eight minutes long of her embarrassing herself. Yeah. Uh, at a fucking like, company meeting. The cringiest shit, and everyone there has to act like it's great. Like, if... Okay. If I were working with a company and someone was doing that shit, I would take the mic away from them. <laughs> Especially the fucking Asian woman. Right? Like, she just walks up there and is like, no, you can't do this. Like, like I I'm can't, sorry. I can't remember who it was in chat, but someone said you can see the pain on their face. <laughs> I think that was Artist Guy. Yeah. 
But like, yeah, just three feet away from an Asian people. Just sing an like Asian that. people. I said Asian people. An Asian. You an said Asian. an Asian. I did not people. say an Asian. Just three feet away from an Asian people. <laughs> I didn't say an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try and fucking put that evil on me. I wish it was uh, a little more obvious who some of the other characters were based on. Well, like this one? Yeah. Like, that's obviously Cynthia. Yeah. And then the one guy was obviously Wolfric. Uh, like that guy was the m least obvious person. Yeah. And maybe Kamado. I think he was the original character. No, Kamado is uh, Professor Rowan. Oh, okay. A uh, good game. Yeah, really fun. Like not not just to like sit here and watch you play, but just to, like just just hearing about how much people love this game, man. It's nice. It's uh it's something new for Pokemon, which Pokemon has gotten pretty fucking stale in the It's something last new few for years. Pokemon, and they won't do it again. They won't do it again. They well, that's that's why this is different. This is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This isn't Pokemon version whatever and yeah. whatever, right? This is a spin-off. So, uh, probably we'll never see something like this again. Uh, or they'll incorporate some of it into the mainline Pokemon games. Yeah. Uh, the problem with the mainline Pokemon games is when they introduce a gimmick mechanic. Which, pretty much every generation introduces a gimmick. Not, like, a new mechanic that just, like, adds to the overall system. No, no, like, no. Like, the, the first, I would say, like, three or four gens introduce something that adds to the mechanics. Yes. Right? So you have, um, uh, Gen 1 sets the stage. Gen 2 adds, uh, hold items. Right? Mm -hmm. That was the gen with hold items. And, uh, like, because of hold items, you can have, like, uh, this hold item increases a particular uh, type of attack, Ooh. right? Yeah. And you've got, like, Gen 3 introduces the abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen 4? I don't know what the fuck Gen 4 introduced. Probably nothing. But then, like, Gen, Gen 5, Gen 6, like, uh, the Mega Evolutions, and the... Uh, Dynamaxing. Yeah, and, God. Uh, the the Z moves or whatever the fuck it was. The counterpart. What? That's a quest name. Yeah. The, those Dialga's counterpart. Time and space. Yeah, but we caught them both. Gen 4 introduced the physical special split. Yeah, there you go. Mm. That's what it introduced. So, so yeah, like the first four gens introduced things that actually added to the systems. Yeah. And then after that, it was just a gimmick for that gen that is like basically forgot about. Yeah, the yeah. Meet the survey core to discuss our next. Shut up. Like the entire time before she is in this outfit, he's just <laughs> quietly singing that. He's just humming to himself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We beat your silly little game. So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Yeah, it was great. I saw that picture. Yeah, it was great. I literally did nothing to enjoy it. Indeed! It only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Leventon, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokedex? Nine don't, stars. Don't tell me I have to fucking... In order? Max out the Pokedex. No, Could afford... Arceus just needs you to seek all Pokemon. Of course, it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? 
The little we know about Hisui's history and legends seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon, couldn't help but over here. If it's Hisui and history oh, and legends God. you want, then I'm your man. Do not trust this man. Why, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead. <laughs> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. <laughs> And I visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow! Tomo Vivochi. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood. I'll set up at the Heights camp then. Vivochi, I'll be expecting you. I don't want to work with this man. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. I'm in the Obsidian Field Lands, okay. So, uh, like, basically, they made him look like Cynthia because uh, then the player will be like, oh, well, it's your friend. It's Cynthia, right? I can trust Cynthia. Yeah. The, the person I can't trust is this Silene, who looks like yeah, right. Cyrus. That's how they trick you. Yeah. Because this dude wants to fuse with Arceus. What the fuck was that? Something screamed at us. Didn't like that I fast traveled. Like anything. Has this been here the whole time? Yes! Apparently. Vivorchi, there you are. Okay. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. The plates. All-encompassing? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Sinnoh. Oh. Sinnoh, I mean Arceus. Arceus. Its name is Devil Joe. Perhaps you've already heard this name. And its name is John Cena. <laughs> Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? Now, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them read. Read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. That's not the first plate I obtained. No, it's not. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, what do you say, Bavorchi? I think we should try to gather all the plates. Foot is twitching. I've got just the idea where to start. Search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Yes, yeah, foot is twitching. He's too excited to meet Arceus. Dialga. Uh huh. That. What is that? Is that Ursa Luna? Oh, yeah, it is Ursa Luna. Uh, Basque Legion? The fish, yeah. Uh, Yuxi? The Brock one. The Motion one? Yeah. Uh, that's faded. Palkia. Okay, uh, Legion again. Bridge Gigas. Uh, the blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the bear. Ursaluna. That middle one. Uh. That's, I not, have... that's not Braviary, is it? No, it's not Braviary. What is that? That's a new one. I don't recognize it. <clears throat> Alright, so now our mission is to find all the plates then. I assume. Yeah. So what are the plates that we're missing? We're missing... We're missing... Steel. Ghost. Rock. Ghost. Uh, poison? So we have poison, I think. Uh, fighting. Fairy. Other types that I can't think of right now. I think. 
I think we're missing one more. Do we have the dark one? I don't think so. I don't think we have the dark one, so that's six. I know we got two doing uh, Avalug. <laughs> Hello. Now, Bavorchi, according to my own investigations, oh, oh. an Alpha Vespa Queen. Terribly sorry, Bavorchi, but do you think you could handle it? Oh, the all go right off the bat. Yeah, because I had him select. Yeah. All right. Uh. Fuck it up, I guess. Flash cannon. That was not that strong. For a, a fucking ruler of time, you're fucking weak. It's not very effective. His defensive stats were lower. You fucking. Which means it now me. takes more damage. Hey, let's check this out. Let's roll of time. Oh, it kind of fucks you up, don't it? Yeah. How do you like that Gallic gun? Remember when Vegito would use Gallic gun? Yeah, but Gallic gun is red. That was blue. That was the Kamehameha. Calm down. No. Stone. Oh, just right there. Stone plate. Oh, so this is how we're gonna get all the plates. Vespiquin isn't even a fucking rock type. No. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. Yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. I just have to beat up random alphas? That's boring. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Mistress Kogeta? One and only Mistress Kogeta, yes. I haven't had the chance to probably thank her for her help in obtaining the red hula hoop, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit, so onward to the ancient retreat! Okay. <laughs> the well-known stone type, a fucking bee. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, has there been a bug stone Pokemon? Yeah, Cleavor. Never mind then. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, Shuckle. Shuckle? Shuckle is a bug and rock. And also, uh, if you give him a berry, he turns it into a rare candy. Really? No. But it, it's just a, a lie. That it's just one of those so things. So many people believe. Okay. Hey, I defeated one. I've seen it use Bug Buzz. And I've Sweet. seen it use an Agile move. Way to go, Vespa Quinn. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I got a lot of points to get. Yeah. You gotta get all those points if you want all the fucking starters. Alright, let's go talk to Lady. Yeah, let's go see what she's gotta say about stuff. I hope She'll we probably get say there. something useful. I hope we get there and she's literally just dressed like Cynthia. At least change it to something or, other than yeah, the fucking Lady Dimension like skew. Something uh, a little uh, like Japanese Cynthia style. And the answer is. No. Still hot, though. Oh, yeah, it's Cynthia. Oh, lost one. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red hula hoop served its purpose well. Carried out your duty as you were bid. What brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about the plates. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. A tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. These forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. I have heard of certain fragments, plates, as they're called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon, such as Cleavor and Wordier. And a fucking Vesper Queen had one. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. Great, I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. 
If only we had more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Bavorchi here fell from the sky. Ah, I see what you intend. Very well. I'll help as best as I can. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. I think. There are the Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano. Perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Ooh, Prelude Beach. Now then, what would you hear of? Uh, the Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon! You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? No. Well, make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Never mind. Oh, you've, the arena. Okay. Just each one. Yeah, yeah. There, there's the Moon View Arena. Yeah. It's literally called. I guess the three lake Pokemon. Ah, yes. Them, you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Throw a Pokeball at them. Yeah. Now then, what would of. So, three lake Pokemon. We're, we're missing at the... We have 11, and there's 18 types. So I believe we are missing seven. Okay. So, the three lake Pokemon, the Volcano, the Crescent Moon, the Temple Giant, and the Beginning. So What's that's, at the beginning, though? That's all seven. Uh, tell me about the Volcano. Fire Spit Island, I know. I, I pointed it out earlier. Yeah. Oh, well, we gotta talk to her about them to get the missions for them, anyway. Yeah. The Temple Giant. Yeah, where's that one? That's Regigigas. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Fucking Snowpoint Temple sounds so much like a fucking Zelda area. Well, yes, because it just has the word temple in it. <laughs> that's the thing That's the thing with Zelda it's games. It's all temples. The yeah. beginning, I'm guessing, is that... Uh, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here? Yeah, Prelude, Played a Beach. Prelude Beach. But what the fuck could be there? What would you hear of? Never mind, I heard them all. Done with your questions? Yup. Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed for your own sake and for that the Pokemon you labor on. So we got some Pokedex. new Pokemon hanging around here? Yes, hopefully. I knew we could rely on you, Mr. Skogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now, let's find those plates. I just want to see who the fuck is at Prelude Beach. Yeah, let's let's do that one first. So, the Crescent Moon is obviously Cresselia. Obviously. The three lake Pokemon, the Volcano, Heatram. Pokemon are the key to our search before she... What was the other one? Uh, the... Oh, uh, Regigigas. Yeah, Regigigas. Sorry for the messages. Perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for Pokemon and Koga Dimension. I have my own avenues of research I'd like to pursue. Uh, about how to uh, fuse with Arceus, creator of all he sweet. Uh, sure, I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Yeah, this dude is trying to, trying to fuse with... Yeah, this dude's up to something. Arceus. Reason to me, they still insist on giving Regigigas the slow start ability when his stats aren't even that fucking good. It's a gimmick! <laughs> That's all you need to say about anything in Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. Now what the fuck? Uh-oh. I have had a message from Mr. Skogita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the Merchant Volo. We must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Yeah, I was intending to. You have a plate, don't you? That's your whole shtick. I, I have to beat him. It's not a... Uh from a legendary Pokemon, but it's just beat the fuck out of this guy. No, it's not beat the fuck out of this guy, it's capture this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the gimmick is that my legendary Pokemon is dog shit or tell-alls. No, that's not the gimmick. The gimmick is that he's old and cranky and needs to wake up. He's a big poopy head. It's like slacking, only worse. All right, let's see what's over here. Who said that? I heard something. We got Pokemon in them, the our hills. Oh, what? What if it's Manaphy? 
Prelude Beach. Indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me a battle. Okay. Again. Oh, he's got almost a full team. He's gonna die though. He's gonna kick him into the water and he's gonna sink because of his armor. I gotta get rid of this Dialga. Where's your Garchomp? Huh? This dude sucks. Yeah. He's big though. Uh, hit him with that fucking... <clears throat> Can I not look at your fucking stats? No. There you go. No, still can't. There we go. Special attack is better than attack. Okay. What does that mean? That means I'm using Earth Power Strong Style. Okay. Yay! Make it so he has a whole now called Coffee Giga Grounds to counteract his ability. No! Cause then that's ruining the gimmick! <laughs> See, he knows how cool Heracross is. Yeah. Where's your hair cross? Uh, shitty. I had to fucking get rid of it. Yeah, whose fault is that? Hair cross. No, it's Nintendo's. They didn't recognize the true power he could hold. The true beauty of hair cross. Yeah. Uh. Do we have Aerial Ace still? Probably. I mean, you could look. I could, but I already switched him out, so. <laughs> like, I could, but I don't wanna. I wanna fucking play Russian Roulette. Dude. Yeah. It's probably a bad thing. Watch him not have Aerial Ace and it's like, oh no. I just used Aerial Ace when you said that. I know, but like, watch when you just like, he still has Aerial Ace. Yeah, yeah, he still has it. The look, he doesn't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The Fable! Oh shit! Time for die? Yeah, he is gonna die. So, of all our Pokemon. Strong style stone axe. Fucking do it. Fuck him up! Oh Ooh. shit. Oh, nice knowing you. There goes Cleavor. He just he just turns and salutes at you <laughs> <laughs> as the water pulse draws closer. <laughs> And dead. Good, I really thought that he wasn't gonna die for a second there. Hmm, Snorlax. Oh! Shit. Well then. One button. What did that even do? Alright. Let's try this. And we will fuck you up! Uh oh. That can't be good. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm gonna. He's got one Pokemon left. What is it? Braviary! Get the fuck out of here. Quick attack! Get the fuck out of here. Air Slash! I might be dead. Get dead. <laughs> He's like, you were talking shit about my breviary. Yeah, of course not, I was. Not anymore, bitch. Okay, you wanna talk some shit? There's a giant fucking electric cat. Here's my favorite Pokemon. Fucking go. And you're dead. Now what we learn. You fucking dead, kid. You're dead to me, can opener! <laughs> <laughs> Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. Like, uh, imagine him saying that about Gardevoir while it's like bending over with its huge tits spilling out of right. its dress, and it's like, even terrifying Pokemon such as this can become <laughs> trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have Matt this. Santa. 
the fist plate. There's fighting. So, no legendary Pokemon here. The very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot Prelude Beach. We found that plate. Clearly held some kind of power, so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. I would not be trusted with any of those plates, because every single time I see Bevorchi holding it, it looks like it's jello. <laughs> and I kind of want to eat it. Kind of want to take a bite. <laughs> appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Uh-oh. No, I have no right to say this. We are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps' ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. Knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon in this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future! Yay. Okay. Bye. Based on Kogeda's hints, seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. Uh, no. Uh, I think you just mean- you just means four more quests to do. Yeah, there's that. Hello. Where did Pokemon come from? My ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you ever check what that fucking mint crap was? Oh yeah, it was a uh, um a uh, thing to get yeah. get uh, change your uh, Pokemon's personalities. Mm. What's happening to Bugeen? Oh, finally evolving. It's Digi. I just had to talk to him. Finally, it's become Silcoon. Just a little longer, it'll blossom into Beautifly. You can do it, Bugeen. Silcoon look suits my buddy for sure, but I can't wait to see it as Beautifly. Nobody tell him. Nobody ruin his dream. All right, let's go beat up this Lucario. Hold on. You heal my Pokemon? Yeah, okay. Yeah, they always heal your Pokemon. They hold your hand, remember? It is baby games. Baby games. Ingo. Hey. You can tell by the Lucario. Uh, Ingo, I can talk to him and he's like, hey, you want to battle somebody? Oh. Kari, Kamado, Benny, you, Ingo. Eh, not right now. Okay, that's kind of interesting, but also why? Do we get I, out of it? Well, we get to battle people. Okay, but what do we get out of battling these people? Uh, we get to battle them. Yeah, but what do we get out of it? They don't drop. They don't drop money anymore. They don't drop money, but they do have uh like specific teams of Pokemon. So if you're like. I, I need to defeat this Pokemon for the Pokedex entries. Ah. Then you can just come here and fucking beat the shit out of them. Okay. Alright, fuck them up. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering why you aren't just using a fire type. Because I didn't have any with me. Lucario, or not Lucario, Luxray doesn't have Fire Fang? Uh, I'm gonna see if we can teach Gallade the elemental punches, like, right now. That was a wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon. That's helped you make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. I'm guessing I'm gonna find him wandering around. Yep. So there. I want new moves. Play volleyball with Eugene. <laughs> Gallade. Aerial Ace. And the answer is... Fire Punch. Yep. Thunder Punch. Ice Punch. Drain Punch. Poison Jab. Zen Headbutt uh, doesn't have 100% accuracy, so fuck off. X Scissor. Energy Ball. He's got fucking everything. Oh my god. His attack is way better than his special attack. Though. It's like Mew, apparently. Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Dude, dude. this dude can learn fucking everything. Why are but, you so bad ace? But again, like, there, there's no point teaching him the uh, special version. Just teach him the physical ones. Yeah. 
Uh, learn Aerial Ace too, why not? Learn False Swipe too, why not? There's gonna be a lot of money. Oh, it's not that much. It's just gonna mind. cost you 12,000. Uh, that, that's not as much as I thought. I, w I was thinking it was more expensive than just getting inventory. Alright, what about Guard Chomp? Did I already look at what you can learn? I think you did. Better like, fucking teach him False Swipe too. Every, everybody can learn False Swipe. Yeah, I taught him a bunch of stuff already. Yeah. Rico meeting. Aquatail. Ah, the fact that they aren't a hundred accuracy just annoys me. Uh, Dioga. Yeah, what, what can you learn, buddy? Aerial Ace. Fucking everybody. Why is why is everyone able to learn that? Everybody gets Aerial Ace. Everybody gets like bulk up and swift. Rest, Shadow Claw, what's your stats? Special attack over attack. Yeah. So, there you go. Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Steel Beam. <laughs> so many beams. Yeah. There's so many beams. Go for Steel Beam, why not? Uh, so yeah, the, the fact that it has all these physical attacks just annoys me. Yeah. Because it's like, Shadow Claw, why not Shadow Ball? Because he's better with special. So. And also, he's like a four legged demon time horse. He doesn't really have claws, he just has little flat hoofs. Uh, and everyone else. Yeah, everyone's fine. Hi, loser. See you later, fucking idiots. <laughs> Time to fucking go! You have to roll though? Yeah. It made it cooler. Oh. Did it actually? Yeah. Check this out. Shoot! And now I'm stealthy. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. You're like a ninja. I'm so I want to be ninja. Oh <laughs> you had to say it. <laughs> You're the one that did it. Uh you This is your fault, you did this! <laughs> uh so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is uh not to get all the plates off stream <gasps> <laughs> but uh oh, that said, oh he he's fucking dying he, he's low health so he's like oh fuck yeah right i don't want to stay out of my pokeball i'm too much of God, a baby. fucking massive this is how big pokemon should be i feel like Dialga should be a little bigger yeah. Then again, he's not alpha. Okay, Palkia is, I guess, the alpha variant. No, he was just frenzied. He's not alpha. All right, here's he all my bros. Frenzied, no. Why would he still be frenzied? I fucking no, hit I him mean, with all the bombs. No, would he still be in that form? What are you talking about? Go, go get Palkia. The, oh, his horse form? Yeah. That wasn't frenzy. That was his fucking horse form. Okay. That was his, his swing form. Yeah. Where's his fucking horse? There he is. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Get fucking tiny cleavor out of there. Never mind. His Gallade is almost dying. Oh, so yeah. He's like, I don't want to stay out of my pool. Yeah, he's not a horse anymore. Okay. Look at these dudes. Just hanging out with my bros. Look at these dudes. Just dudes being bros. Dudes being dudes, bros being bros. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get all the fucking garbage research done that I can. And then uh, we got one more stream, getting yeah. all the plates and summoning Arceus. And then fighting Volo, merge with Arceus. Yeah. Varceus. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank See you, you later. Bye.